rock bottom, make the man and some pressure, make a gemstone. Trying to put a dollar to my name, like Trap Code. Not your boy, late to the games. In the blood flow, running from the south. It's thick skin and tough. Johnny Turbo. At it again. Thanks for checking it out. We're back. We're in progress. Just to save uh, video time, a little bit of watch time. But you can see the cars up on jacks. And I'll just get right out of you. You've seen the title we're putting in the coilovers. Getting rid of the old uh, 10 plus year old KYBs with Swift. Swift Springs. Those are going to be gone. So we got the car up on jacks. And I've already gone and loosened all the bolts. Uh, front and back. We got the uh, strut towel bolts. I got one left holding it up. And now we're just going to... We're just getting right into it. I mean, you need to see me take off every single bolt. All right, you jack your car up, take the wheels off, take the bolts off, there you go. <laughs> and this kind of thing, it should be fairly quick and easy because I'm not really uh, like repairing anything. I'm just taking off a part and putting on part that should fit uh, exactly the same. So I hope that works. <laughs> Let's just get after this and see how this looks, all right? Let's undo that brake line here. Stainless steel brake lines off, that lines off. These are the alignment bolts. This is the bottom one. This is the standard bolt. The top one is elongated so that you can do an alignment. We just gotta take these bolts off. We don't have to take off this strut tower because that's gonna hopefully fit again. neighbors are working on the house they're gonna be hammering all day but there you go there's a 10 year old KYB XL XL G shock absorber with Swift Springs and group and top hat and that's gonna be burst brand new BC coil lovers not 10 years old all well, goes according to plan. This should bolt right up. Right. It's a lot shorter than the other one, I'll tell you that. Um, which way does it go? Please start up. Let's fucking go.
<sighs> All right, well, that's gonna be today's video. That was a sick drive. The car is, it drives mint. Coil overs are awesome. I mean, the thing handles mint. There are some drawbacks. There's a little bit more creaking and a little bit, and it's a little bit harsher over bumps. And you know, I gotta account that too, is that I got so many braces in this car, the front, the back, the sides, all around, that some of that flex and, and bumps from the car has to go somewhere. Okay, so it has to go somewhere. So it is gonna make a little bit more noise. Um, but it's so fun to drive. It handles sick. Like I said, it feels like I'm putting the power down better because the car isn't just leaning all over the place and turns in when I'm on the braking and on the gas. It's staying a lot more level. So I'm able to get tire, get power to each tire much better. And it just feels, it makes it feel faster. I don't know. I don't think it is. Car makes, oh, by the way, that makes 320 uh, horse and 330-ish foot-pound torque uh, on a Mustang Dyno. Um, that's where we're at right now. So she's a riffer, dude. Dang. And that's the coilovers. They're on. You've seen that little montage. Uh, and uh, that's going to be it for today. Uh, the next thing, and I don't know what the next thing is, but I had fun taking you along for a little cruise today. Getting out, enjoying the car, and that's what I built it for, was to get out. So, listen, this isn't a DIY video. This is an inspirational video for you to get out there. If you enjoy cars and you want to do something, just get out there. Feel the satisfaction of doing it yourself, all right? You know, have some fun. I believe in you. You can do it. And uh, that's what we're all about. So, listen, listen. I, I, look at the tent I'm in. I'm in this. I'm in a tent, yo. And there's my toolbox. <laughs> that's one of my toolboxes. And I got one more inside. That's all I got. And I got I got a jack. I got a couple of uh, stands, uh, uh, car stands, whatever. And that's it. So if I can do it, you can do it. So at least get out there and drive. And you know what? Maybe turn a wrench or two on yourself. You know, maybe start off with an oil change. But get out there and do something. Have fun. Uh, these cars are meant to be enjoyed. They're not meant to stay inside a plastic tent and just rot away while you do tons of work on it. So <laughs> you got to get out and drive it. And man, this thing is a beast. It's so much fun. All right, so that's that's gonna be it. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that stuff you're supposed to do, and I appreciate it. I I keep on saying I'm gonna pump out these videos, but it's difficult. I'm trying my best. I'm I'm gonna just continue to try and get on some type of consistent basis. But just stay with me. All right. Thanks again, Johnny Turbo. Ah, <laughs> coil over, son.